Well, hello, art friends. Um, my name is Nick Parker, and today we are going to, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how to draw a face. Now, there's many different ways to do it. Um, this is just my way that I kind of um, made up from uh, different ways that I've seen through the years, uh, and hopefully it's helpful to you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First thing is, um, well, let's get our tool. So of course you'll need a pencil. I like uh, using a mechanical pencil, uh, number two. And this is a eraser, uh, more specifically a kneadable eraser because you can knead it. And so this eraser is really good because you can erase lines quite effectively but then in order to clean the eraser, you just simply knead it. And so you keep your eraser clean and you keep your paper clean. So this is a, a very good tool to have handy. And so we will be using that. As you can see, I have already started uh, the first step, which is to draw a sun. So somewhere in the, in the center of your paper, go ahead and draw a large circle or I, I should say a medium large circle. You don't want it too big. Um, so starting off, we're gonna draw a series of shapes and lines. Uh, these are called our guidelines. Um, and it's gonna look like a hot mess to begin with. But as we draw in our guidelines and as we draw in the, the facial features, then it'll, it will slowly come together. Uh, I want to uh, just remind you that as you draw uh, the, the guidelines, at least the first few steps. Make sure that you draw lightly. Uh, this is a little bit dark just so you can see it, but I would draw lighter than what you see here because a lot of the lines, not all of them, we will then erase. So let's get into it. So hopefully you have drawn your circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, practice makes perfect, so we are practicing right now. Our next step is to draw a line dividing that circle in half. So you have a vertical line dividing your circle in half. Um, that's step two. Your next step, let me make sure I get this line pretty vertical. This is where the kneadable eraser comes in handy. There we go. All right. Don't be afraid to erase. All right, from there, we're gonna draw another line that actually splits the circle uh, in the quadrants. We're gonna draw a vertical line, sorry, a horizontal line, like so. Then from here, so we have, we have our sun and we have our cross. Now let's draw in some more guidelines. Our next guideline is gonna be down here so this guideline happens to be where the circle and the vertical line at the bottom intersect. I'm gonna draw dots to make it easier for you so you can know exactly what I'm talking about. Draw that dot in too. You don't have to draw these. I'm drawing them so it's easy. All right, so we have a line here. From here, we are going to draw yet another line that's about halfway between this lot, this point and this point. So about right there. And you can eyeball it. I mean, you can measure if you want to, uh, but it's better just to eyeball it. All right, and notice how I'm bringing these lines past the circle. So they're kind of going out wider than what they need to be. Um, which is good. You want to do that. All right, again, what we will do is we'll draw yet another line uh, that is halfway between this point and this point, about right here. And again, you should be drawing lightly, not too dark. I'm drawing dark so you can see again, but just, uh, there we go. All right, so from here, um, you're probably wondering why I drew this bottom line a little bit further than this top line going past the circle. Um, 
Well, this is where our chin line is going to be. And so I'm going to place mine right here. Depending on how wide you place this line or how um, narrow or whether you put it here or up here, uh, that affects uh, what kind of face and what kind of feature and what kind of um, age this person's gonna look. So I'm just making mine roughly. Um, so from here to here, from here to here is about the same length. And so you can do that or you cannot do that. Just make that chin line and just realize that that's going to be where the face where the head actually ends. All right, from this point or from here, our next step is to I'm going to draw a I'm going to put a point right here and a point right here because from here to here, I'm going to draw a line from this point to here, a curved line, make sure it, it's curved on both sides. And this will be the jaw and cheek line or contour line. And so for this line and this line, kind of get those, um, get those kind of, uh, get that curve going about I guess make them the same as much as you can. Make them mirror is what I'm trying to say. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, but just do the best you can. All right, so from here, we uh, pretty much have uh, the basics for our face. Um, don't erase these lines yet. We're gonna keep them. We will erase them. But from here, um, I like to start with the nose. Um, which will be here. And the reason why I like to start with the nose because it is the center of the face. Not the center of the head, but the center of the face. So this will be where your eyebrows are at. So from this point to this point, this is kind of your midpoint-ish, you know? Uh, so I like to start from the center and then work my way out. Uh, so that's what we'll do. So we'll start with our first facial feature by drawing a circle. And this circle will represent the tip of the nose, the ball of the nose. All right, so from here, um, I'm gonna draw two little uh, ellipses, but they look more like, I guess they look more like watermelon seeds. Um, and let me show you exactly what I'm doing so you know. It's probably hard to see from here, but I have prepared. So this is what I'm doing. I'm drawing a nose. So I'm drawing the ball first, then I'm drawing um, the, the opening of the nostrils. Um, and these to me look like watermelon seeds. So we're just gonna call them the watermelon seeds. And then you're gonna draw uh, two C's facing each other uh, for the outline of the nostril. And then this will be, you can either draw this or not draw this. We're gonna eventually erase this circle, but this will kind of be uh, where the nose kind of pops out, which we'll, we're just indicating that by drawing just that line. So anyhow, this is what I'm drawing right here. It just might be hard to see. So we'll go ahead and draw that in. All right, so from this point, um, I actually like to go ahead and draw the bridge of the nose. Uh, I, know, I know a lot of people start with the eye. Um, I just don't. So, I'm going to start about right up at this line right here. I'm just going to bring that line out. Just kind of a curved line. 
and that'll be the bridge of the nose. We can curve it a little bit at, up at the top for when it goes into the brow. Uh, from here, now let's work on the eye. Everyone likes working on the eye. So the eye, will, we'll keep it simple. It will be basically an almond shape. And, and the eye will occupy this space. Uh, you can kind of get it in the center of uh, this line, this line. Uh, but just kind of eyeball it. No pun intended. All right, so that's, that's pretty good. All right, so from here, after we make our eyes, we're going to go ahead and make um, the eyelids, which will occupy this space between this line, the top line, and this line. Um, and it will simply just be a C or a, I guess a, a downward C or just a curved line. It's just the crease that indicates the socket that the eye fits into. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and work on our eyebrow, which lives on this line right here. Um, and if you want like a point of reference, you can start at the corner of the eye, and if you go up, then you can go, just go ahead and make the eyebrow. Uh, you can make it big, small. I like to keep mine kind of um, on this line. Actually, I guess it's kind of right above that line. All right, so there, so at this pay, if, if, sorry, at this stage, you can nitpick and try to do details. Uh, don't do that yet. I have an urge to do, to do that to correct a few things, but let's go ahead and just lay down some groundwork first, and then we'll go back and we'll make things better. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and do the the iris pupil. You can go ahead and shade that in if you want to. Okay, so our next step is to, let's go ahead and draw the ear before I forget, uh, because I will forget. And the ear, let me show you what the ear is gonna look like. We're, well, one, we're gonna draw the ear between this point and this point. That's why I had you draw all these lines past, because it helps us Give, it helps give us a reference to where uh, to draw some of these facial features. All right, so I'm going to draw, here, let me do this, the ear, which is basically, we'll keep it simple. We'll just make it a C shape. And on that C shape, we'll go ahead and, we don't want to draw too many details of the ear, but we know the ear has um, different features. All right, so that's about as much detail as I'm gonna put into the ear. Let me show you what I just did. All right, so basically I drew the C and I came back and drew this part, which is the front of the ear, front top. And then it, it, it winds, it goes, it curves back. Um, and then I just drew this Y shape to to kind of uh, represent the earlobe and then how it comes back up. Uh, you can do it more complicated than this, but for what we're working on, this is great. This is above and beyond. Okay, there we go. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and tackle the mouth. Okay, so the mouth, um, there's different ways to do it, right? But let's just keep it simple. So you see the space between here and here and here and here is about the same. So I'm going to use this space from here to here and maybe add a little bit more and I'm just going to draw a line going out. Another guideline. Then from here, so this will be uh, my center line for the lips. From here, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a leaf shape. 
All right, so I have my top lip and I have my my bottom lip. And you can draw lips, you can draw them thin, you can draw them thick, wide, narrow. It's really up to you, right? And I'm gonna add just a little bit of a slight smile. Okay, so now I have, I have my basics, I believe. Um, well, the only other thing is the hairline. Um, and you can draw, so the hairline, you can, there's different ways to do it. I'm just going to do mine like this to where there's a slight, I guess they call them widow's peak. Um, so that's how I'm going to do mine. You can do yours. You can go straight across and not add this, but it's up to you. All right, so at this point, let's go ahead and erase our guidelines. So now at this point, um, you it's it's really up to you what you want to do. Um, I'm just going to draw in some facial features and do some shading. Um, and so here we go. Well, anyhow, there's a, there's lots of things I can keep on going and doing, but that's, I guess, the basics of how to put together a face um, with the guidelines and kind of drawing in the facial features. Uh, hopefully, this was helpful. I hope you learned something, and uh, until we meet again, I'll see you later, art friends. Or I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye.